Hey everyone, I'm Jump Dash Evade. I was asked to make a video on how to run um, the Mega Man Maker level editor, so I'm just going to make a quick little uh, video explaining that. For the people who have never run it before, it can be a little bit uh, confusing. So you're going to need to install uh, Godot first. Uh, you're gonna need that to make the uh, the level editor actually work. Um, so once you have that installed, um, you will have a folder called like Megman Level Editor or whatever, and this will have like the whole project, everything inside of here. Um, nope, for me, I have some levels in here. Um, this is because I'm on the D drive and the uh, Godot Studio is installed on the C drive. So I actually needed to split these levels uh, into the D drive. Um, or, or sorry, the other way around. Godot was installed on the D drive and the levels are in app data on the C drive. So I needed to move them into the D drive so that uh, they can actually be saved. So these are just copies of the levels. If you have um, your Godot and your levels on different drives, you'll have to do the same thing as well. Anyway, um, once you have Godot installed, you run it. And you get something like this. And if you don't have uh, anything imported, you're going to have to first import it. Find the file location. In my case, it was D drive. Um, level editor project and then project.godot so once you have it up and you're at this screen um, I'm already assuming you know how to run it at this point since you've already uh, ran it once but if you don't there is a quick run button and uh, it'll take you into the application anyway if you double click this when it loads up you will see this screen, which could be confusing for some people, because it doesn't look like Mega Man uh, Maker Level Editor. Um, but anyway, this is uh, correct. And there's a little play button up here in the corner. And anyway, if you play that, it will bring up the level editor. And there we go. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it on how to run it. And now that you've already ran it once, like I said, um, next time you run Godot, it will show up in your recent projects, which is the first thing that you see. And you can just click the run button and it will pop up immediately. And for those of you using uh, 1.7, uh, this project, the level editor, was recently updated um, with the help of some of the Eggman Maker community, uh, as well as the developer of this tool as well. So um, on the website that is linked uh, in the description, you'll be able to get the most up-to-date version of this product. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.